If it doesn't make or break you, choices, decisions, consequences, if it doesn't make or break you, sometimes that's what you got to think about when you're making these hard decisions. This month and, you know, a couple of other little specks of, you know, months throughout the year has been hell. You know, this month in particular, November, and a little bit of last month, been kind of hell a little bit, a lot of uh, decision making to do and a lot of stuff. And, you know, I decided to go ahead and get on camera and let you guys know some of the things I'm going through and give you guys some of my input on the best way about, the best way to make these hard decisions and stuff like that. You know, um, it's been a lot of things I had to, I had to go through this uh, month so far and in the beginning of the middle of last month and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to start off with, with one of the things uh, right now and that was when I was first, when I had first moved here you know from my other place you know because I got the same owner she owns like seven or eight places so this place opened up she let us know and you know we came in and bam and you know it's a situation that happened where the guy that works on the houses you know he works on all our houses or whatever does the plumbing does you know painting and stuff like that even though I'm the one that painted this house but he does all the little you know stuff he's maintenance man um he was having a rough day one day he came in went off on me about some stupid stuff and you know i responded back but not in a rude way and not in a, not in a bad way whatsoever and i called her and let her know what was going on later on that day she me and her uh, met face to face or met not really face to face like that but we met or whatever to talk about some stuff and she ended up going off on me about that situation and it wasn't even my fault i didn't even do anything wrong i'm the one that did the right thing to call her and let her know what he was going off on me about but you know she went off on me talking about i'm pissed off at you and stuff like that and i'm saying wait I'm thinking in my head like, wow, really, really? And I was like, what did I do? You know, and she, well, you should have, you shouldn't even say anything back to him and blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, you're going off on the wrong person. No, I'm not because I'm talking to you and da, 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 da. And I swear God had a hold on my mouth because, you know, if this was any other time, I would have went off on her. And she already know that. And she already knew that because she already had said, well, you know, I realize that you have some growth that that has occurred within you because this was a while back you would have you know been going back and forth with me and I would have you know and it wasn't really growth it was just that the whole point that I don't got time for the nonsense you know you going off on me I wasn't the cause of anything I'm just going to be quiet and let you be right forget it you know just last Sunday my pastor just got done pre preaching about sometimes you got to admit that you, you not admit you got to say that you're wrong even though you're not the one that's wrong and if, if that's what it takes for everything to be right, even if it doesn't be right, even if it's still, this person is still on you and still irritated with you, still, just to have some closure to the whole deal. Instead of going back and forth, one person got to admit that they're wrong. And that's what I, you know, that's pretty much what I did. I didn't say, I didn't say nothing. I just let her chew my ass. And anybody know, you know, you're not going, you, this is how, this is my method. And I always say this to people. I got my own little sayings, and I don't say that I don't say it that much online because a lot of people like to steal your phrases and act like they're the one that created it and stuff like that. But this is what I say to people: talk talk to someone as if they're as if they are a mirror. When you're looking at yourself in the mirror, you're talking to the mirror. You're getting exactly what you're saying right back at you. So if you're talking to me stupid and sideways and crazy and like you lost your damn mind, that's exactly what you're going to get back. And that's how I react to people. When people come at me one way, I react exactly how they came at me because I'm like a mirror. Don't get mad at the mirror because the mirror is projecting what you put into it. What, you're going to get mad at the mirror because you're making faces in the mirror and the mirror is making faces back at you? It's your own reflection. Don't get mad at it. But that's how it usually be. But at that point in time, I'm like, no, I don't got time for it. Some of my electronic stuff got stolen, you know, from my, as far as my computer gear. I don't got time for it. And if I would have went off on her, I would have been kicked out right away within a week of me already being here. So with that said, that's a situation that would have made or break me if I would have snapped on her. Now, I wouldn't have been calling her and all kind of bitch and all that stuff. But, you know, the way I, the way I go off, my, my words does hurt. And I, and I mean, that's something I got to admit. And my words is worse than me socking me in the mouth. But, um, you know, if you take me there, which is it's hard to take me there because I'm easy. I mean, how could you? I'm super easy. But anyways... That said, that's a situation that will make or break me. Friendships. Sometimes you're going through school and stuff like that, and you got these homies and stuff. You got the people that's popular in school, but they want you, and they hanging out with you, and they want you to hit the joint. They want you to smoke the cigarette. They want you to hit this alcohol. They want you to, you know, you know, do some something stupid, steal some stuff from the store. You know, you got the you got the females hanging out that you want to be 
cool with the other females. They want you to steal this purse. They want you to, you know, get this number from this from this older guy that that y'all got no business talking to, you know. And they look at you, they downgrade you, and talk stuff to you if you don't do it. That situation right there, that will not make it make or break you because they have nothing to do with your life. If if it takes for you to be unpopular throughout your whole school year, high school, middle school, junior high, no matter what, that those people are not worth it. They're not going to pay your freaking bills when you get older. They're not going to bail you out of jail when you get older. They're not going to, you know, they're not the ones that you have to impress. They're not the ones you have to look after when it comes to you getting a job, you getting a career, you earning credit credits through, through school, you going to college, you, you know, having a life with a, with a house, car, kids, uh, husband, wife, whatever, etc. You know, so friends, negative friends, popular but negative fans, fans, friends, they're not worth it. So they will not make or break you. So they can get, they can, you can bam, sh shabam, get the hell out of my life. You, you, I don't care if you guys look better than me or you, you got a big crowd talking, talking down on me and stuff like that. You have nothing to do with my life. In fact, a lot of people used to talk stuff to me when I was in school. And I'm doing way better than them since they're, since school is over and, and they were out here doing dumb stuff. Now you don't realize that once you get grown, you got to fend for yourself. And now that you're grown, you don't know shit. You can't survive for yourself and you have no kind of uh, nothing to show for yourself and you're looking stupid. Yeah, you're a popular through, through high school smoking this and smoking that, sipping this and sipping that, dipping this and dipping that and fucking around with this and stealing this and stealing that. Now look at you, you know, and look at me. So it's those situations where you got to choose based upon what you're going through, the lesser evil sometimes. And that in particular topic or example I gave, you are, you understand what's the lesser evil. It's not really a lesser evil when it comes to that. But when it comes to like stuff like friendships and stuff like that, or family members. For example, I got a family member, got a couple of family members and a couple of friends who want to be my secretary. They want to do it for free. They don't mind, you know, I was already talking about secretary. As soon as that came out, out of my mouth, everybody, oh, I do it, I do it, oh, you got to choose me because I'm your family, you got to choose family first. When it comes to family, they choose like they feel like they gotta be first because they're family, you know. Family's first. Blood, be, blood is thicker than water, you know. And a lot of people mad at me because I want to hire them as my secretary. It's like, okay, you don't even be here. You don't even know what I do. You don't even know exactly how I operate. Even when I'm sitting around talking about what I do and the kind of gear I got and the kind of stuff I'm doing, you're not even listening. You're lazy. You like to sleep all day. You don't even answer your damn phone half the time. How are you going to respond to my clients? How are you going to tell my clients how I operate if you don't even know how I operate? You got to be somebody that know me inside and out. You got you to gotta be somebody that look at my videos and study it so you can tell my clients when they call, okay, this is how he does his stuff. This is what he just upgraded to. This is how he's trying to do stuff. You know, it's not for show. You know, it's not to be cute and say, oh, yeah, I'm a secretary. I work for Emily and blah, 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 blah. And no, it's nothing about that. It's about, it's about business. It's about seriousness. It's about trying to, you know, do something. So that was a situation. That was, that was a small situation. So if I hire somebody else besides my family member and all my family members look at me sideways like, hey, oh, you hired this fucking person over family, is that going to make or break me? No, because they're not going to be there when I got to, you know, it, no, it's just not going to make or break me, you know. Um... Because if I if I hire if I don't hire my family members, is that gonna mean I'm not gonna have a good secretary? No. Is that gonna mean I'm not gonna make money? No. So it's not gonna make or break me. You know, them being mad at me, it's not gonna make me, it's not gonna make me get anything more, and it's not gonna break me either. You know? So yeah. Friendships. Close friendships, relationships, marriages. I'm not gonna touch on marriages, that's a whole nother ballpark, but close friendships, relationships, and things of that nature, I'm dealing with that too. Might as well put that on blast. I'm not gonna really go into detail, but yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. That's real hard to decide when it's gonna make or break you. That's when you gotta take into consideration the lesser evil, you know? And it it been a lot of times where I get the finger pointing at me, and this is something I really hate. Like when something happens to me, something's get somebody do something bad to me. As far as a close friendship, relationship, whatever the case may be, you do something bad to me, I confront you over it, and you get mad at me because I'm confronting you of what you did. Think about that for a second. That's redundant. It's like me getting mad at the police because they're being mean to me and roughing me up and putting me inside the uh, police car with handcuffs on, and taking me to jail after I just got them robbing the bank. You can't rob a bank and then get mad at the police officer because he's slamming your ass on a car and putting the handcuffs on all tight. Oh, you're being too rough. 
or whatever, and, and you're trying to turn around on them. Like, oh, I'm suing you guys because you did this and did that. What about that old lady you just threw down on the ground? What about the gun was waving around to everybody? You ain't thinking about that. You're thinking about what's happening to you now that you're trying to make yourself to a victim. You know? The other thing I hate is where I don't even have to, but I go out of my way to try to please somebody and try to make a situation correct and they end up backfiring on me. The finger get pointed at me, even though I'm not pointing no finger, but somehow fingers get pointed at me like I'm the big bad wolf and I did something wrong, even though I was the one that's just trying to protect myself and trying, and then at the same time, so busy trying to worry about, that's another bad habit I got. I, I'm so busy, I worry about what people feel. I worry about their feelings so damn much to where I put my own self in jeopardy or my own self in harm's way as far as, you know, feelings is concerned, you know, because everybody's feelings get hurt, whether you cry about it, whether you get upset about it, or get stressed out about it, whatever the case may be, you you just get, everybody gets hurt, it don't matter if you're a man, female, bodybuilder, you know, don't matter who you are, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, you don't have to be, everybody reacts in a certain way, and I just hate it, the situations where, okay, well, yeah, something, you did something to me, and but let's move past that. I'm going to try and, you know, it seems like I'm the one that be always trying to fix a situation that was done to me. So it's like, you coming to my store, or you coming to my house, messing up my whole house. Instead of you cleaning it up because you made a mess, you spilled the drink on the carpet, or you spilled wasted chips. I'm cleaning it up because you feel, well, it's your house and you should be cleaning it up and, and, you know, I didn't do anything wrong because blah, blah. I know that's a bad example, but it's, you know, stuff like that, you know. Um, if, if, if you got a friendship, you got a relationship, you got to choose the lesser evil. You got to choose, you got to, not really lesser evil, it depends on what you're going through. But if that person, male or female, woman or, woman or child, uh, woman or man, you know, it don't matter. If that person is not if it don't matter who fault it is but if it's just not going right and it's been months and months and still ain't going right fuck it like get rid of it i mean get up out of here i mean maybe you won't say it like that but it's like what am i doing this for you know if it doesn't make or break you now if you got a house with somebody you got a relationship with somebody you got you got a kid with somebody you got this and that you you built up a business with someone, you got a business that you actually run, so then you got to deal with that person. You got to think, okay, if this, if we don't be involved with each other, is this really going to make or break me? But if you got somebody inside your life that's not even contributing, not one inch, not even that you even involved with on a regular basis, if you cut them loose, is that going to make or break you? And in my situation, no. I thought about it and I'm like, no, well, why am I stressing out for why I'm so busy trying to worry about this person if it's not going to even make or break me? It's not going to make me or break me. If I just say forget it, you know, same thing with my cousin. My cousin uh, met this dude, you know, she's so busy trying to find the dude real quick. She don't like the wait. She like to dip right into it because she think every dude is Mr. Right when it's not. She finally find out that the dude that she's been talking to for like a month or so, you know, was was hitting on her and, 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 and talking to her crazy. She, he was doing it behind closed doors at first, but now she finally came out. He got caught and stuff like that. And... People been trying to tell you, you can't, you can't, you over here trying to take care of a grown man that's not even got no diploma, got, got no job, pretty much on the streets. You met him online, he's smoking weed, you're supposed to stop smoking so you can get a job, but he won't. And you're paying extra money where you stay at to take care of him, even trying to put your kids, paying way less attention to your kids for a man, that's, that's unheard of. You don't do that. You know, you do not do that at all, you know. Finally find out, realize that, yes, that was wrong. And now he's he's no more when it comes to her, him and her together. I ain't talking about he's no more like that, like we did something. But, you know, she's done with him. You know, she realized that he's not going to make her break her. He's, he, he can't even do anything for her. What have he done for her ever since he's been with her? Nothing, except for calling names and this and that. So, you got to choose, you got to decide what makes or break you. You know, when it comes to a job, I know people that have been working the same job for five years, haven't got a raise, haven't got no benefits. Um, they got they inside of a messed up environment. They're trying to move up inside that in particular job field, but the manager, the supervisor, is so is so you know they so for themselves, and they're not even looking at how long they've been there and how much hard work they put in, extra work they work for, not even counting extra hours that's added on. They just do it for the hell of it. 
is that gonna make or break you if you quit that job? It depends. If you, if you got do you got bills to pay? Do you got your own house? Yeah, it's gonna make or break you if you quit that job. So you gotta deal with it. But if you find another job, you know, while working at that other job or the current job, you find another job that's paying the same hours, but it, it requires you to start from scratch. But it allows you to build up over time, over a few years. Then it's not going to make or break you if you quit that job. Yeah, you're going to lose some friends, some some uh, coworkers that you really really love, and you know probably one of the supervisors used to hook you up with you know stuff when you needed it. But now that you quit and they, they don't want to have nothing to do with you, you might lose a lot of friendships. But so be it. If it doesn't make or break you, they don't. They're not going to pay your bills. They're not going to. They're not the ones that's going to give you a raise. So it's not going to make you or break you if you quit that job. You know. So the main thing I want you guys to get out of this was. First off, this lends you guys see the serious side of me about, you know, you guys know when I'm doing these videos, I'm talking about some real stuff. It's not no fun and games. I'm not joking around like I do my game and stuff. And, you know, try and kind, kind of contribute to and let you know what I'm going to be going through based off, you know, because a lot of people ask me these questions a lot and I, and I, and I answer them, but, you know, Sometimes I put them on camera and let you know, you know, what I'm going through in real time. All these situations I'm not going through, but some of them I am. Um, decisions are hard to make, especially when you've been dealing with somebody for years and and you got a good friendship, good relationship. Friend, you've been friends with somebody through high school, middle school, and now in high school they're so they're so different and they want you to be just like them and change and be thugging and game banging. You don't want to go down that route because they have nothing to do with your life. If they if it's a, a person that has nothing to do with your life that you live in every single day, you know. They're not gonna make or break you if you get rid of them. You know, you don't have to do it in a real way. Like, bitch, get the fuck up out of here. No, I mean, you can be. If they made you bad before, you know, the whole breakup thing, then you may get mad, maybe mad when you say it. But you know, like, hey, do me a favor, just leave me alone. You know, if you happen to see me, hi bye. Simple as that. I want to have nothing to do with you because you don't contribute towards what I'm doing. And every time I be around you, and every time I deal with you, it's nothing but problems. So that's how you gotta do it sometimes you know um, to my young folks out there a lot of people are still in school the school stuff I brought up keep that in mind because it will happen you know people will bully you into bullying uh, freaking punk you into you know smoking on something puffing on something use the environment like you had a party man you're not gonna sm hit this freaking vodka man you had you had a party dude we're partying man come on man you're being a lame ass man man so be your own self because they have nothing to do with your life you know, that says when you're bored and you're sorry about the Universal Gamer, I'm out. Peace.